<laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Horrifically Average Gamers. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Offshore. Now I did read the description of this game, but I'm going to be honest with you. I uh, I don't remember what it's about. <laughs> I just know it's a horror game. It's loud. And Jody's here with me, participating. Hello. And so, it's a demo. It, yes, yes, it is a demo. It's not the full game. Uh, we're going to be trying out a couple new games here, so... This is one that I'm going to be playing, and then we're going to play another one with Jody's as well. Let's go ahead and get into the game. I woke up on the beach with no memory of who I am or how I arrived. Ah, quite descriptive. There appeared to be an old lighthouse ahead. My only chance for survival was to find help with it. Oh. Dear fucking lord. Ah okay. uh, yes. Monochromatic intro. First things first. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. That's... That's the sensitivity. Okay. Let's look at the controls. Yeah. Well, that's pretty simple. Ah, flashlight. Okay, we can sprint. I should hope so. Lighthouse. Well, this that is, is a there's must have dynamic in a horror game. There's no sensitivity control. This is the fastest I can spin around. I wonder. If I use my mouse, though, it's easier. But they suggested to use a controller, so that's what I will do. Oh, door yep. opened by itself. Well, that was nice of it. It's like the automatic door at Walmart. Yep. Except you're not in here to buy anything. And also, they don't lock behind you. As I'm pretty sure that Which is like me at Walmart oh. most of the time when I go in there. Okay. Oh. You know... I don't... Ooh, pot. Seems like I... the perfect game to get mugged in. Yes. How, how the fuck do I put this thing down? I don't know. What oh. did you do to pick it up? X would be is how okay. you put it down. Okay, so he has flashlight. I'm gonna go this direction. Open auto magically door. So we have. I'm guessing this is part to a radio. Possibly. I don't know. I don't recognize most of the controls on that, though, to be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh! It's for, that uh... Is, that is definitely not a Stream Deck setup. It is also not a radio. It is, uh... Well, I guess it technically is a radio. But for Morris code. I believe that would be considered a transceiver. <laughs> Actually? <laughs> I can just okay. see the comments now. <laughs> Actually, I can't see the comments now. Unless you comment. You at home watching. Alright, so we got a radio, of which we cannot use because it requires power and... A fuse. I, I guess it doesn't necessarily need power, it just needs a fuse. Because there's obviously Well, it, needs, it needs the fuse for the power. Wow, that is a very bad lamp. I mean, it's really no different than the one I have sitting behind me right now. <laughs> which I actually noticed. Um, I came home yesterday and was going to tighten up the nut on the bottom that holds the lamp itself to the base and realized yeah. that the bottom of the base is broken out. So my lamp continuously has a gangster lean. Yeah, same with mine, actually, funnily enough, you say that. <laughs> Henry, I left the cupboard key in the basement. Caleb, cool. I don't know why you need to leave a note saying that. You could have read a little bit more. Be a little more thoughtful in the note writing process. Uh, I need the cupboard key. It, it would be, it would be worse if it like the the writing just kind of trailed off in a little line of scribbles. Oh, oh, what the fuck was that? Hi, buddy. What, what you did over there? Nope. Oh, he he winked at you. Nope. Nope. Never turn your back to a monster. Okay. I'm Always turn your back to a monster. Breaking. Haven't you seen the animes? Jesus fucking cr All right, fuck it. We'll go for it. 
He did the same thing you did. He just backed up. He's like, oh. no, thank you. Okay. Yeah, no, we're not going in that direction. Nope. We're going to go back in this direction. Come to find out in this game, they think you're the monster. So the sad part... That door's not closing. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> so the it's saddest a bad part... time when your automatic door won't close. The saddest part about all this is my monitor is like a solid, like, maybe a foot and a half away. If I do any time, type of arm extension, i.e. flinching, I'm punching my monitor. Unintentionally. Alright, oh, he's gone. Don't know me, game. You didn't know. Oh. Why is there a tarp here? Well, because there's a leak there. Okay. I was gonna and say the there's a guy has very bad placement. There's a chair in the corner. There's a tarp, tarp on the ground. I'm just glad to uh, hit to be squares and playing in the background. I love that song. Uh, I saw it again. It hit under the desk. Oh my god! As I approached, it stopped very near, and I could see the black, empty space of its eyes, but it could not see me. I believe it is limited by sound. I am now dreadfully aware of each noise I produce. Oh, I'm gonna crouch. From here on out. That's so why this tarps in start, front of the door. Start flinging cups and stuff around. And avoid those tarps. It's gonna jump at the door, isn't it? Oh, it got really quiet. Is that fucking door so loud? <laughs> the loudest steel fucking stares on the face of the planet. Jesus Christ, walk at the corners, it won't make noise. Oh my god. Like I remember reading something, the loudest noise in the world is trying to open a bag of chips while your newborn baby's trying to sleep. <laughs> Poorly lit for some fucking reason. You could have at least told me where in the basement. Thought something was sitting there having a panic attack in the vent. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. All right, so there is. A picture here. Anything on the back? Hey, look at that. Alright, I will do that under the desk. <laughs> we have a <laughs> cupboard key. Please let there be a gun in the cupboard. Something of use. I swore I saw something done. <clears throat> That, that oh, was not, yeah. that was not the lightning. That was not the that fucking was lightning. Not. God fucking damn it, I hate this. Loudest fucking door on the... <laughs> Loudest fucking door on the planet, of the planet, on the planet, yep. I don't even know what the objective is. I'm just being scared of shit, which I don't like. From what I understand, you're just trying to survive. Oh, that's that's great. That that's the objective of the game. I just Why is this get... room darker than usual? It's not darker than usual. It's just as equally as dark as it was before. Yes, you. I could swear it was a little more illuminated. Okay. Spyglass. Oh. What the fuck? I could see it in the spyglass, but not in the fucking... Oh, That's Jesus not Christ. a good start. <sighs> Along with the power to see things that aren't there, the spyglass is my only defense against whatever thing is hunting me. I've noticed that each time it appears, everyday objects take on some kind of curse. Strange symbols appear on the objects that can only be seen with the spyglass. The objects whisper to me when I'm near them, and when I look at them, when I look at the symbols through the spyglass, they burn away. 
The creature hates that I know its weakness, but if I can remove a couple of these symbols each time, it is forced to retreat. Cool beans. Well. The ADS time on this spyglass is fucking terrible. Can I drop some weight, please? <laughs> That is this room. Metal plates for me to walk on and make a whole bunch of noise. Precariously stacked fucking books for me to bump into, not paying any attention, and make a lot of noise. There's another note over here. Today Henry and I arrived at Sirens Point Light. The job is an interesting one that had us cleaning up decommissioned cleaning up a decommissioned lighthouse and outfitting parts of it as a museum. I've heard stories about the place and the souls lost on its rocks. I'm looking forward to checking out the place. We'll be at the lighthouse for about two months and we should have all the provisions we need. Caleb. Oh, Caleb's dead. Oh. Caleb is uh, definitely dead. Mm -hmm. We're just going to act like we're not hearing no sounds. Here's the museum. I know if I hit one of these buttons, a light isn't going to be the only thing that pops on. It's also going to be fucking sound in a lot of it. Uh, this morning, while making rounds, I discovered a ship in the north heading <clears throat> in the north, heading south along the shore, facing east. You couldn't see. Oh, facing east, you couldn't even see the mainland. The fog was so thick. I looked west again to confirm the ship's location, but it was gone. The vessel did not reappear. Well, that's not helpful. Mm -mm -mm. Let's take that. Your bottle. Press that button. Take oh. that. Make a lot of noise. Okay, it is just lights. Wait. So I guess that's a clue, and this opens up, because it dinged when I did that. Yep. Uh, so tell me about north... North, east... No, north, south was the order. Uh, north, south, east, west, yes. And then looked back, so... That would be north... South, east, west, north. So, north is that. So, south. I'm gonna try east. And we'll try this one. West. North. Nope. Alright, we're gonna try this a couple times. We start with this one. Go to this guy. And then we'll hit... Wait, so this must be north, because there's two facing in this direction. So, let's read the fucking riddle again. I wonder if they just all have to be on. No, okay, so that's <laughs> not it. That, that was false hope at its finest. <laughs> so it was heading... It was in the north, heading south. Two hours later. If you looked east... Six hours later. Much, much, much later. Wait, how the fuck did you... One eternity later. Oh, let's try using the spyglass now. Yeah, this can't be all there is to this. There's a demo. Oh! <laughs> Lantern. Rope. Uh, east, west. West, east. East-west. So, lantern against the back wall. Yeah, so it's 
Lantern, Lantern Rope, East. Skellington and Lifesaver. Yeah, so. That's Rope. So you saw it here first, folks. We tend to ignore <laughs> game dynamics that have just recently been introduced to us. Oh, that scent tingles up my backside. Yep, well, it's gone fucking now. Uh, I thought I heard something, like, talking behind you. I can hear it. Oh, hide under the table. I can't, not in here. I'm dead. 